Where will Chris Godwin, Jameis Winston, and Teron Armstead sign in free agency? Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports ready to try to predict where some of these top guys are going to land. Now, Chris Godwin, one of the best wide receivers that's out there right now. Teron Armstead, arguably the best offensive tackle. And Jameis Winston, he might be the top quarterback in free agency. Now, when these guys do sign, or if you want the best coverage, whether it's news, rumors, what have you around the NFL free agency, we got you covered here. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications. That way you never miss a thing. We're also getting close to 280,000. I would love to hit 280,000 when Tom's not here. Let's talk about the very first guy on today's show. It's Chris Godwin, one of the top wide receivers in this free agent class. You got Devontae Adams. You got Allen Robinson. Then you have Chris Godwin. Personally, for me, I think he deserves to be in that top tier of overall elite wide receivers. The fact that OBJ, he ha just had an injury, I think that makes this tier even better. If Devontae Adams ends up getting franchise tagged, it's between Godwin and Allen Robinson. Now, sure, Godwin tore his ACL in week 15. However, the way science, the way medicine is going now, I'm going to just believe that he's going to be ready to rock and roll week one, which might hurt his overall value. But considering the fact that he's coming off here, we had 98 catches, 1,103 yards, five touchdowns. He's been an absolute stud with Tom Brady. There's going to be a lot of teams obviously interested in Godwin. Last season, had more injuries, kind of the hammy was bothering him. Still at 65 grabs, 840 yards, seven touchdowns. Back in 2019, with actually Jameis Winston, 86 grabs, 1,333 yards, nine touchdowns, 2018, 2017. Since Godwin has come out of Penn State, he has gotten better and better and better, and I really truly believe he can be a good wide receiver one. So in terms of some of the teams that are going to be interested in Godwin, there's going to be a bunch, probably more than the five teams that you see right here. But if I was going to put my money where my mouth is, I would say that one of these five teams is going to go out and get Chris Godwin. Miami Dolphins, they have the most money in cap. The Chicago Bears, they got to try to find somebody to replace Allen Robinson. The New England Patriots, they still need a number one receiver. The Jags, who are you going to put around Trevor Lawrence? And then who knows, maybe he just ends up going back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So with all three players here on today's show, I am going to ask you this question. Where will fill in that player's name end up signing so before I give you my answer I want you guys to let me know where will Chris Godwin sign this offseason my prediction for Godwin is he's going to end up going to the Jacksonville Jaguars who currently have 59.2 million in salary cap space that is second behind only the Miami Dolphins if the Jags were smart and that's probably how I should leave this off if the Jags were smart they would do everything in their human power to put as many weapons as humanly possible around Trevor Lawrence. Lawrence struggled last year. He was a rookie. Why? Urban Meyer was an idiot, and they didn't have a lot of talent around him. You put a lot of talent, and you put Chris Godwin right next to Trevor Lawrence, that's going to help him out a lot. And the fact that he might be the top free agent receiver out there, there's going to be tons. And I mean tons of people trying to throw him a lot, a lot of cash. And if Adams does end up getting franchise tagged, I could see Godwin getting the richest contract. And the Jags have a lot of money. They have a young quarterback. So don't be surprised. Godwin to the Jags. Now, it's not too cold down there in Jacksonville, but I do know it's cold in Minnesota, and I know it's this cold in time of the year. Hell, I should probably put on one of these NFL hoodies in our chat sports studios because it's freezing in here. And if you're cold watching this video right now, go to chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. We got hundreds, and I mean hundreds of different types of NFL hooded sweatshirts, some up to 50% off. In fact, I think I was just looking Right now, yeah, there's one up to 65% off. If you want one of the ones from like the playoffs, from a team that made the playoffs, we have those hoodies available as well. All 32 teams, all different sizes. All you got to do, go to the link that you see below me. It's also going to be in the comments. It's going to be in the description of this video, chatsports.com slash NFL hoodie. Let's now talk about the quarterback position. I'm going to go with Jameis Winston here and... I would say that he's probably the best quarterback in free agency despite him tearing his ACL in week eight, which is actually really, really sad for him because for like the first time in his career, he's winning football games, he wasn't turning the ball over, and the Saints were five and two. For those that don't think how important he was to that team, five and two Saints, they finished the season out of the playoffs and then at nine and eight. 
Yeah, Ian Buck, sorry, not that good. Taysom Hill, sorry, not that good. But 14 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Let me say that again. Seven games, three interceptions for Jameis Winston. That's insane. Now, obviously, the completion percentage needs to be able to improve. And coming off a year where the yards weren't that high either, I can put the blame on the Saints not having a good receiving group because, let's face it, they don't right now, especially without Michael Thomas. The other issue is this with J Jameis. How much are you going to pay him? Does he try to go out and get top dollar? Because I feel like I know what type of quarterback Jameis Winston is. He's somebody who's going to turn the football over. I mean, look at these numbers here, right? Career stats. This is in 77 games started. 61.2% completion percentage. Over 20,000 yards. So, all right, he's got a lot of experience. That could warrant a contract of over 12, 13, 14, maybe $15 million a year. 135 passing touchdowns. But 91 interceptions. Obviously... Not that great. In terms of some of the teams that could be interested in Jameis, I absolutely think he could end up going back to the New Orleans Saints. The Washington Commanders, they're looking for somebody to command that offense. You got the Carolina Panthers. They're not really sold on Sam Darnold. And heck, I just saw a report come up that maybe Carolina could even be interested in Kirk Cousins. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they're a quarterback away. Could he just go back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? I mean, Tom Brady just retired. So I promised y'all, I'm going to ask you this question again. What do you think? Where will Jameis Winston end up signing in free agency? There's going to be teams interested. But if I was Jameis Winston, I would try to go to the team that gives me the best chance to win, the best chance to start. And if I can get some money on top of that, why the hell not? Where do you guys think Jameis is going to end up signing? My prediction, he's just going to end up going back to the New Orleans Saints. And this would be a good move for New Orleans and it would be a good move for Jameis Winston. I mean, again, they were 5-2 and two before the ACL injury, and I get it. New Orleans right now sitting there with minus $76 million in cap space, by far ranked dead last. There's going to be a lot of people who are like, well, they don't have Sean Payton anymore. Uh, the offense might not have Alvin Kamara. Would, would it be smart for Jameis to go back there? My answer would be yes, because there's not too many teams out there that probably consider Jameis a starting caliber NFL quarterback, and I do believe New Orleans is one of those, so that's why I have Jameis going to the Saints. Now, before we break on down where I think Teron Armstead is going to go, remember, y'all, you can always hit me up on IG, on Twitter. I'm at MitchellRens365. If you see something from today's video, like, dude, you missed this, or if you saw something that you liked, Please share it with me. I have the DMs open for a reason. Let's talk about Teron Armstead now. Offensive tackle for the New Orleans Saints. He's my top rated offensive tackle in free agency. And when he's on the field, I mean, there's no doubt. He's, he's one of the best uh, left tackles in, in all of football. Here's the issue. He has never, nine-year career, has never played a full season. Injuries have always plagued him. And in fact, he played in only eight games last season. He's a big mountain of a man, 6'5", 304 pounds. And when he's out there, dude, you know that it's going to be really, really tough to get after the quarterback. Here's the thing, though. What I, if I was New Orleans, who, let's face it, he's not going to go back there. They don't have the money because this is somebody who personally I think could warrant $20 million a year, and he should go ahead and thank another left tackle up there in H, Trent Williams. He signed a, at 33, where he was making a shit ton of money. And if I was Armstead and his agent, that's the type of money that I would want as well. So here are some teams that I believe could be interested in Armstead. The Pittsburgh Steelers, they desperately need a left tackle. Now, sure, they don't have as much money as some of these other teams here, but definitely a team to keep in mind. Miami Dolphins. They're probably the worst offensive line team in all of football. The Cincinnati Bengals, we saw Joe Burrow get beat up. Maybe you go out and get somebody that can protect this blind side. Chicago Bears, they were another, just abysmal, abysmal offensive line. Somebody's got to go ahead and protect Justin Fields. And then I'm going to throw in the team, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This could be a team in win-now mode, trying to stay aggressive and continue to build that offensive line. Drum roll, please. Where do y'all think Teron Armstead is going to end up going? Well, before I give my answer, I want to know from all of y'all, where will Teron Armstead end up going? Drum roll, please. I have him going down to Miami. And the reason is this. The offensive line for the Dolphins is terrible. And with all the injuries that Armstead has had, Miami does have a lot of money to spend. But here's the thing. If I knew somebody was as injured as often as what Armstead is, I don't know if I'd be willing to throw him as much money. The reason why I think the Dolphins could be willing to throw him money is they have the money, and also he's going to play left tackle. 
That's not Tua's blind side. So if I was the Dolphins, I'd say, hey, man, you don't have to protect their quarterback's blind side. We're going to pay you like one of the top tackles in the league. And we were by far the worst offensive line in football last year. That's why I think Armstead's headed to Miami.